If you want to see it, you come up here to the ninth floor of the downtown Central Library into what's called the Hervey Family Rare Books Room. The room gets a lot of attention from the public. They get off the elevator and they come in here and we get a lot of traffic during the day. People like to see all these examples of fine books. Really rare and wonderful books from the collection of Mr. Julius Wangenheim, who made a name for himself in San Diego real estate and banking, and whose family donated them after his death in the 1950s, gave them to the library. We have Babylonian clay tablets that are 4,000 years old. We have books from the 1100s, mid-1400s, when infancy of printing. These are books that I don't think you could put a price on. Just to show you one thing, look, here's a book with a gilded edge until you just spread the pages ever so slightly, and it reveals an original painting. And if I turn it over, I get the other side of the page. Another totally different painting. This room is so full of art and sculpture and, of course, treasured books, but what we've come to see, and it's here, is the smallest published book in the world. Many people come in looking for it. They've heard about this. So they head to that corner. We show them where it is. Over here in the corner display where there are miniature books, not much bigger than your fingertip, tiny little books, everything from kids' stories to grown-up novels, Here's a Bible from the year 1780. It's not a complete Bible. This is a condensation of the Bible, but it was printed long ago. There's more, and these are just some that are on display. An artist named Julie Tim put together a picture book of cliff dwellings in New Mexico. The cover is made out of the clay from that area. It has an arrowhead embedded in it as well. But all these are giants compared to the smallest one here, the smallest published book in the world. And by the way, you might be wondering, why did they make these tiny books? Miniature books were actually quite useful in the past. Uh, if a traveler would like a miniature book, people carried it on trips. You can have a Bible as a miniature book. You can have a book of verses. So they were, very quite, they were quite popular long ago. And delightfully small they are. But when it comes to small, there is one here, a more recent edition, only about 30 years old. That is the smallest in the world. It was considered the smallest published book, yes, and I believe that still is the case. So small, in fact, that you can barely even see it, 2.9 millimeters. From Germany, looks like nothing more than a dot, but it's a book, it really is. It's a 24-page book, 24-page ABC book. So it's, uh, it's, it's quite unique. Okay, we don't have a microscope, but under a magnifying glass, if we zoom in, you can just kind of see it. It's sitting in a little hollowed out space in the foam. See the cover and the pages? It's remarkable, and as to how on earth it was done, well, a microscope, very intricate technology, and of course the author's ability to think small. I think it's something to see from above and not really attempt to read. I think it would be very difficult to do that without some special equipment. Yes, yeah, you'd really need your glasses to read the tiniest published book in the world at the Hervey Family Rare Books Room at the Central Library. It's a collection of books big and small going back centuries, and it's something we just had to see with our own eyes about San Diego. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to click on the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this one.